This video is intended to teach the fundamental aspects of clarity. In this video, we are going to add a new client profile to Clarity, discuss the documentation options for the release of information, as well as adding or updating individual privacy settings. Let's begin on the client search screen. Select Add Client. This brings us to the client profile intake screen. We are going to create a profile for the sample client Dover demo. The first field is Social Security Number. Because Dover is a sample client, we are going to enter all zeros. Remember, it is okay if an individual does not wish to give their Social Security Number or knows only a partial number. The next field is the Data Quality Marker. This field is included for all required information and is extremely important. This is what Clarity uses, along with other criteria, to check and prevent the duplication of client records. Several agencies in our community use separate databases to collect information on people experiencing homelessness in the area. This data is then transferred into Clarity. As you will see, there is either a separate data field for the data quality marker, or the data quality marker fields are available in the drop-down option boxes. The next data field is the client's name. Select the quality of the name. Next is the date of birth. Make sure to also select an accurate quality of the date of birth. If you are working with an adult who does not know their birthday, enter an approximation. Additional criteria, if available, is middle name and a suffix, like junior or senior. A place for alias is also available. Next is gender. After that is race. Take note, you have the ability to select multiple criteria for race. Select all that apply and the selections are added to the entry line together. Ethnicity is also a selection. If the client is a veteran, selecting yes will add additional criteria to be answered. At the bottom is contact and emergency information. The final category on this sample intake form is pets. This information may assist when locating housing for a client. Please note, you will not have the ability to save the data you have collected until you complete the release of information section. This section is located at the top of the screen on the right. If the client has agreed to share basic profile information and after reviewing the current COC HMIS privacy notice and client consent form, then set the permission to yes. Currently, the consent is valid for seven years. The default selections are the day and seven years after you enter the data. If you met with a client at an earlier time, please adjust the dates accordingly. The methods by which you document information for client consent can be kept in the following forms. The first is electronic signature. This would allow the client to review the consent form digitally and sign it using a mouse or touchscreen. Click eSign Document. Review the HMIS consent form with the client. Have the client sign the form. Choose Apply and select Save. This will then add the completed eSign document over on the right. Another form is Attach PDF. A PDF would be a physical file that is scanned and uploaded to the computer. Locate that file by choosing Select File, Find the document, and Select File. That would also add it to the Clarity database. The next method is a signed paper document. A signed paper document simply requests that you specify a location where the document can be found. One important thing to remember is do not reveal any names of the agency or agency address, nor any other information that would indicate specific agency. This is to protect client privacy. This location note could be, for example, kept in a file cabinet or in Carol's desk file. 
Another option is verbal consent. This is currently a temporary selection that has been approved by the Cincinnati Hamilton County COC Board during the COVID-19 pandemic. In case this option is no longer available, you would need to have a different documented form of consent. The final option is household. This option is intended for clients who are under the age of 18 and or a dependent. A release of information must still be completed by a qualified adult household member that has a signed release on file that will cover the dependent. You will now be able to save the client record. Remember, always scroll to the top of the screen and look for the green banner. If a client chooses not to share basic profile information or not to sign the release of information, set the permission option to no. You would then be able to save the record. There is one more step that must be taken to set a client's profile to private. After a profile has successfully been saved, with the release of information permission set to no, click on the shield icon to open client privacy. In the privacy section, set the client privacy to private and save changes. On this screen, you can also access previously documented releases of information or add a new release of information. Thanks for watching. 